Good morning! You guys want to come on another field trip today? You'll never guess where I'm heading. Just kidding. You probably saw it on the thumbnail. <laughs> My name is Liz Kidder and I'm a dreadlock artist. We have just arrived outside of the Wild West Woolies studio in Dover, New Hampshire. So we're about to go in and meet my friend Karen, Karen Salvatore, formerly Karen Cartier. If you don't know Karen already, she used to work with me for like four years. So she's appeared in a lot of my YouTube videos on my other channel, but then she moved to Kansas for a while and then she came back and opened up her own business. So we're gonna go in and check out her new studio and chat with her and then we're gonna actually work together on a client. Let's go. Um, okay, you want to give us a little tour? Show us around? First of all, wait, nice shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna show your sign. Look how cute your space is! A little bead collection over here. Some plants, more plants than anything. I know, you get more plants than me, I think. You changed things since I've been here last. I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> Beautiful bench. Um, what what are, what's all this? These are wool dreads. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you still have from Tanya, right? This is from my old studio when we had a commercial space in Amesbury. Did I make you that? I did make you that, didn't mm -hmm. I? Aww. Sure did. So, this is going to be our backdrop, I think, That's for before and after pictures. It looks so pretty right now with all the <laughs> rainbow. Ooh, look! Okay, Karen, have a seat. I'm gonna interview you, your favorite. Should we do it in the mirror like this? <laughs> uh, no, we're not doing that. Okay. I'm Karen. I live in Dover, New Hampshire. I've been doing dreadlocks for five years now. I still carry my cosmetology license for fun. And, um, yeah. How, how many times have you had dreads? <laughs> this is my third set currently, and I feel content and happy where I'm at. I don't think I'll go full head this time around, but... Um, what else do the people want to know? I mean, I feel like it's pretty obvious by the decor in here, but what are your hobbies outside of work? I have a horse, so I'm very into just being outside, doing farm things, and <laughs> riding my horse, and having my dogs run around with me. I lived out in Kansas for a year, and out there wasn't really doing dreadlocks, but I took a class from Jennifer Salmon to learn the wool dreadlocks, and then that's where I came up with the Wild West Woolies name. And then when I moved back to New Hampshire, I decided to start doing my own thing with dreadlocks. And what is your like favorite service to do on clients? Maintenance! <laughs> maintenance. This is a maintenance, maintenance. maintenance queen right here. Yes. Nice and just satisfying. And how could people book an appointment with you if they wanted? Email is best, wildwestwoolies at yahoo.com. And then now I've been trying out a new system uh, through Instagram. You could just go to my Instagram profile and click book, and there's an online booking system through there. Perfect. <laughs> client coming any minute now but before we do we have two more people two more people <laughs> two that more we need beings. to meet <laughs> two more beings <laughs> hello hi this is opal and drax gotta get a toy oh toy that has got in <laughs> your new big toy he's trying to show it off but he doesn't want anyone to take it this hey is buddy mine. 
<laughs> you vicious pit bull. <laughs> Do the dogs hang out in the studio when you have clients? I leave them in for the most part. Drax cries behind the door the whole time, so most people are like, Do you have dogs? Oh, let them in. I want to say hi. <laughs> Um, so usually they get to come out and say hi. <laughs> oh sure. Our beautiful client just arrived, Kristen. So I'm gonna let her introduce herself and tell us a little bit about what we're doing to her hair. Well, I don't know about beautiful, but I'm really excited <laughs> to do with my hair and have it fixed because I've had extensions and I've taken them out. You can see. I probably screwed up a few, which is why I'm so thankful to know Liz and Karen and have them help me with my dreads. So how long have you had your dreads? This is my fourth year. I'm in the middle of my fourth year of them. And you had extensions on, so why are you replacing them? Well, so I, this, I've actually had two different sets of extensions. I did a first set of extension a long time ago, and then Liz and Karen fixed it because they were really thick at the bottom and really thin in the middle, and they didn't have loose ends. Um, and then those just started to fall out over time. So I saw Liz's video and I was jealous. <laughs> I want to have nice ends and have it look like it's supposed to and get it all together. So I'm hoping this is my last real set of extensions because then I'll have mostly my hair and just make the ends pretty. Yeah. Because I started, when I started dreads, my hair was about to here. So it's been a long journey. And yeah. A long journey. And I get a little crazy when it's all furry like this. <laughs> well, we'll fix you up. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Give us a little spin. Let me see the uh, back of your hair. Lots of different colors. I know. Especially we've got like the rainbow light coming yeah. through the windows <laughs> right now. <laughs> So Karen worked on root maintenance first since that's her jam and I focused on the extensions since that's my jam. I had brought five different shades of light brown and blonde so that we could get a really natural, multi-dimensional look. Eventually Karen joined me on extensions since that's the time consuming part. We just work so seamlessly together since we know each other so well. I absolutely love that we still get to collaborate once in a while. again sometime. Yeah. <laughs> Sooner. Bye. Bye. <laughs>